In a recent statement issued on Friday, the International Committee of the Red Cross, ICRC, revealed that they have collected a total of 43 bodies over the past week from the front lines of the ongoing conflict in Las Anod, a disputed city. Additionally, the Somali Red Cross Society has transported 110 wounded individuals to hospitals during the same period. The clashes, which have persisted for several months, have escalated tensions in and around Las Anod, with the ICRC's statement refraining from identifying the deceased or assigning blame for the violence. Somaliland, having separated from Somalia approximately three decades ago, has been striving for international recognition as an independent nation. Its security forces have been engaged in protracted battle against clan militia groups that aspire to be part of Somalia. Among these groups, the Puntland state has long contested Las Arnold ownership with Somaliland. The relentless fighting has resulted in a mass exodus of hundreds of thousands of individuals from the region, while the exact number of casualties remain unknown. The ICRC has expressed concern over the widespread destruction of civilian infrastructure in Las Anod, the capital of the Seoul region. In response to the alleged images circulating showing the mistreatment of captured soldiers, Somaliland's government released a statement on Thursday condemn condemning such actions. Hundreds of individuals have been taken captive on both sides of the conflict during the recent waves of violence. The ICRC managed to gain access to 300 individuals held by the militias, marking their first visit to these captives. Among them, four wounded detainees were transferred to a hospital for urgent medical, medical care. It is worth mentioning that ICRC staff had previously visited captured militia forces in the capital city of Somaliland. Earlier this year, the Somaliland Defense Ministry refuted allegations that the army had targeted the main hospital in Las Anod with shelling. The conflict continues to escalate, posing significant challenges for the region and exacerbating the humanitarian crisis on the ground.